Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be carrying out a test on a Shindigen FH020AA regulator. This is a MOSFET regulator and this one is um, going to be uh, part of a kit that I'm currently making up um, for somebody else so that they can upgrade their VFR. Um, okay, so thanks for stopping by. Uh, let's, uh, let's dig into it. <laughs> Okay then, what we're going to do is we're going to carry out a test of the uh, Synergen MOSFET FH020AA uh, and basically what this is, this is a standard serviceability test. In order to do this, what we need is a multimeter. This isn't a particularly expensive one, but this one does have the diode option. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a diode option. Uh, you can use the continuity um, ohms readings. Um, and it, you'll have the same uh, same sort of effect. However, I have the diode option, so I'm going to use it. Right, firstly, what um, what we need to clarify here, this is the negative pin from the battery, this is the positive pin from the battery, and these are the three here are the stator ones from, obviously, from the stator. So what we need to do is we need to check and check for um, continuity between um, the pins. Now we should get continuity in one direction, we shouldn't get continuity in the other. So firstly, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my positive lead from the multimeter, I'm gonna put it on the negative pin on the stator. Now what I'm gonna do, the negative lead, I'm gonna to touch to each of the stator pins in turn, and what we should get is a reading. Now each of those readings that we get across each of the three pins should be roughly the same, or they may, they may not be identical, but certainly in the same ballpark. So what I'll do, I'll turn that round so you can see, and then I'll, each one in turn, I will go through, okay. So we've got 544, 544, 545. Okay, as I said, in the same part, ballpark, two of them were identical, the other one five is one more, but you know, that's, the set, that's, that's a good reading. Okay, what we're going to do next, take the positive lead, put it to the positive pin on the reg rectifier and repeat the test. This time we shouldn't get anything. That's the first one, absolutely nothing. Second one, absolutely nothing. Third one, absolutely nothing. Okay, that's what we should have got. That's what I expected. Had there been a reading there, that would have been a problem. Um, that means that the, this regulator is unserviceable. What we've got to do is we've, because of the way the uh, the regulator works, um, we need to test in the opposite direction. So what I need to do now is I need to swap to um, the negative lead and repeat that test. So negative to negative, we should not get anything at this point. Nothing, nothing, and nothing. Now this time, with the negative to the positive on the regulator, we should get a reading. One, two, two. One, one, eight. One, two, two. Okay, so again, all three of those were in the same sort of ballpark and um, we got a reading when we when we should have. So I am content that this is a perfect, perfectly working um, regulator rectifier. Uh, as as you all know, the, the Shindigen FH020AA regulators are ridiculously reliable. They you know they're 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 famed for their reliability. So yeah, um, I've no doubt that this one will go on to um, have a very very long uh, service life. So there you go, that's um, how you test a Shindigen Regulate Rectifier. Thank you very much for stopping by guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment and I will see you all again for the next video. Thank you very much. Bye bye now.